I'll tell you, it's a hot one today, but not as hot as the deals I found at this incredible estate sale. This was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. This place was jam-packed with vintage rods, reels, accessories, crankbaits, soft plastics, all from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Heck, there's probably stuff even older than that. This guy was either not married or had the most accepting wife on the planet because I've never seen so much stuff. There was lures hanging from the ceilings, all over the walls and nooks and crannies. You named it, it was everywhere. Now I wanted to get more footage for you guys, but you know how state sales go. Everyone's fighting for the same stuff. So I, rather than filming, I just spent my time buying and I thought it did pretty good for the most part. So come take a look and uh, we'll dive in to see what I got. So as I mentioned before, I couldn't grab everything and obviously it was a little bit of a fight to try to get what you really wanted, but this is the prize right here. We'll go into that here in one second, but let me show you a few of these things that are still in box from that state sale. So we'll start right here with this Rebel. Look at that, still in there. Noisemaker. Look at this right here. I love the natural pattern ones from back in the day. I mean, look at that, that frog pattern. That's awesome. You cannot beat that. Got another one here too. Another natural, natural pattern right there. Old school Rebel. Now these were all uh, three to five dollars each. Um, so I just got I, I got some stuff that I, I didn't have in the collection already. But um, here's an old school bomber. Um, still got the box. But uh, I like this color. I like the brown. That's why I got that one. I didn't have a brown. You got the Cisco Kid. And I've eyed these on eBay and always wanted one. I've never had one before. But uh, heck, when it's in the box and it's right there, why not? So we'll take that out. You can see it's kind of got a little... So I'm guessing this is probably more walleye, sauger, something like that is what you're going to be using for this because it has this uh, little metal piece right there. So I'm assuming that's probably what that's for and that's what this is geared for. I could be wrong. I can't tell that looks like a bass on there. Maybe it's just for really anything. So you got this old school Rapala still in box, still has the original paperwork. See, I miss this. Why don't they, I mean, lures don't have this anymore. You know, shows you the instructions, how to use it, uh, techniques, all that stuff. I mean, that's, that's great. And the fact that it still has all that in the original box, love it obviously anytime i see any kind of cordell in box i'm going to get it Let's see if i can get this one out of here it's a big o you can see it says big o right there i mean just crazy and look at this one buck on clearance yeah uh I'd buy a couple hundred if I could find them for a buck a piece. This one I thought was pretty interesting. This is an old school uh, Bill Norman. And look at that purple color. So what this, what I think this is, is probably like a color C Lecter color. Um, just kind of judging by, you know, the, the vibrance of that purple. But pretty cool. I like that. Still in box. Now on... To the meat and potatoes this is the real this is the real deal right here so this box did not look like this in fact i took out every single lure i individually cleaned all of them and then put them back in um, by not only color but by brand and so we'll start um, down here and we've got five of the same and i believe these are all old school bill norman so you got that one right there he must have really liked this color because he's got a lot of these type ones. We'll go over here. We have same thing, Bill Norman. Got that. Just, I mean, and these are in awesome shape. I mean, the hooks aren't rusted or anything. I mean, this guy took care of his stuff. Here's another one too, just a little bit larger, a little bit more of a deep diver. You can just tell by the lip there. Same color. If we're going back here. Still, Bill Norman, kind of got that, I guess this would be uh, 
fire tiger maybe type color. Sorry, a little hard to do the camera work and get these things out. Here's another one too, look at that. That's awesome. The bluegill pattern. I love this one. I wish this one was in a little better shape, but uh, rainbow trout. That's got to be, I mean, maybe that's rare. I don't know. I, I, I don't know that I've ever seen one like this. Um, pretty cool, though. Then you got some, some shad colors, and then also we've got kind of a darker with brown belly, or I'm sorry, orange belly. Brown with orange belly. Okay, moving on. Moving on to some more good stuff here. This is a bigger one. These are the Cordells. You can see right there, Cordell, Big O. This is all Big O's right here on this section. So everything right here is all Big O, and this all came in this box. And you can tell, I mean, look at that old stuff right there. It's got his name. Let's see if you can see that right there. Okay, nice camera work. Beautiful. There we go. See it? Love that. We'll just try to pick out some of the some of the better looking ones. I love this one. It's kind of like bass pattern. Once again, big O. You can see the big O on the belly. Moving down the line. Got another one here. Look at that. Old school. See, you know when you have the indented cordel, or not indented, but I guess, where the raised letters, cordel also says big O. Metro Bassin does a lot better job of explaining this than I do, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is one that I don't know that I've, I've personally seen. If I can get this one out here, this one's pretty cool. This is a cordel. And I sure as heck do not have this in my collection. It's called the Honcho. That's pretty sweet. I've never seen that one before. Moving on. We've got a little heading right here. And we've actually got a few headings here. I'm going to jump over to this row. And we've got these old school headings. And I, I like these. These are uh, just old school. This is called the River Run. I thought it was, I thought it was called the River Rap, but... This is a river one run, but you can see, uh, I mean, look at that. Screwed in right there. You can just tell by, I mean, on the belly right there, it just says what it is. I mean, I think that's that's pretty old. I've got some from the early 80s and the 70s, new and packaged, but I, I think they're probably more like this one right here. And this one looks a little bit newer, probably more 70s, 80s style. Still, love that. Put that back in there. Okay. What do we got here? A little hellbender. Now I didn't buy a whole thing. He had a lot of these. I didn't buy a whole lot of these because you can still find these today, but I just I, I haven't seen this brown color. So I just picked up the brown color. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh here's one. Um put a little message down below if you know what this thing is. I looked it up and I've already forgot what it is, but uh, this is pretty cool. I just thought, I mean, the eye on that. And now I'm brain farting on what it's called, but it's, it's, um, oh, here we go. It's the hog boss. That's what it is. The brand is hog boss, but I don't know exactly what the lure is. So comment if you know what that is. And is that rare? I don't know. Maybe. All right. We got some pre Rapala stuff. We got some thin fins right here and you can see the Let's see if we can get that. You can see thin fin right there. And this is kind of a brown trout color right there. And they had a few here. Uh, I think they got some wiggle warts. They do right here. They, I. Check that out. That's awesome. I love that, that purple color. And you can see it's old because it has wiggle wart right there on the lip. There you go. Here's one you don't see every day. And he had a few of these on the wall. I just picked up this one because I like the color. I've got a lot of these new in package, but it's a rabble rouser. Love those. I'm thinking about maybe fishing this one. I don't know. I don't want to lose it. It's so cool. But 
old school rabble rouser there. Let's see what else, what else we're cooking with here. Here's some old Rogers. He had a lot of Rogers stuff there, but these are the only ones that came. It's the deep gym. So we've got a few deep gyms in the box here. I'm not going to go over every single one, but I'm just going to show you guys kind of the highlights. These are probably some of my favorite and I have a few of these new in package, but I absolutely love the man's Razorback. Look at that. Man, that is so cool. And you can see the Razorback right there. Those have got to be late seventies, early eighties. Love those. Got a few different colors in those. You know what? I am going to show you all those. Those are pretty cool. So here you go. Look at this like shad color, almost looks like a zebra pattern. This looks like it's kind of fading there on the bottom, but that's okay. There's, here's a Rapala right here. All right, and then the back row, we've got um, old school Rebel. A lot of old school Rebel going on back here. So I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I'll show you a few. Um, there's one right there, another fire tiger type pattern. Then you can tell this guy liked that color because he's got a lot of those, a lot of the browns. Here's another Rebel deep diver, chartreuse. I mean, really cool stuff. Here's another little deep diver rebel. Yeah. Let's just show one more. Show one more. And then let's let's maybe put one of these on the water or maybe a couple of these. But here's another one right here. I love that. Okay, so the camera dies right before I show you my favorite lures of all. I saw these and I had to have them. They were three bucks a piece. So I snagged those up super quick. What they are? Old school storm little tubbies. I love these. Little square bill, crankbaits, rubber tail. I mean, just corky. What's not to love about these? Love this one. And then I've got another one too, which is actually the deep diving little tubby right here. And you can see same type of deal. This is kind of a fire tiger bluegill type pattern. Love that. All right, so this is going to be part one of a two-part series. Next episode, we're going to put some of these to the test. Put them out of the water, see what we can find. So until next time, we'll see you in the water, guys.